Wow, I'm so glad I just went in at Bernardo's. Oh no, wrong house. Back up, back up. <laughs> Why is this so difficult? Oh my God, these boxes better be good. Brace yourselves. So today we're gonna to do a bit of a day in the life of a full-time reseller. I rarely do these because I think it's, I don't really do much that's actually exciting behind the camera. But today we've got quite a jam-packed schedule. So I thought, might as well get the camera out, show you what I'm doing today. Just dropped Layla off at school, our eldest, so she's in now. The youngest isn't at school today, teacher training day. So Amy's at home with them, so I'm free for the morning to have the car. We only have one car, could get a van, but it's additional expenses by trying to save for a house and that. But I won't bore you with the details. Let's get on with the day. On the schedule is picking up some boxes, post office pickup, and obviously go to the unit got a couple of orders to wrap there's a couple that need dropping off uh yeah we'll see what the day brings right now is minus one it's freezing got the snood out again it's nice and bright though hence the sunglasses in winter but the first stop today is picking up some cardboard boxes i spoke about it before but as resellers we get through a lot of cardboard and you don't want to be paying out for new cardboard if you can help it and the best advice i'll put it up here again facebook marketplace type in moving boxes cardboard boxes People are always moving, people always want to get rid of the cardboard boxes. Even if they pay for them, they just want them out of their life. Moving house is extremely stressful. So yeah, they list them for free, but they go quick as well. Luckily this one's only listed for about two, three hours. I was in there arranging to collect this morning in Danbury, which is about 20 minutes away, 15, 20 minutes. And I've actually got something to collect from the Danbury post office, which is cool, Mr. Parcel. I think the cardboard boxes I'm picking up, there's 20 like big square ones, 18 inch by 18 by 18. Like nice ones for CRT TVs and typewriters. They normally cost like 20, 25 pounds for 10 on Amazon. I'm getting 20 for free. So I've saved myself like 40, 50 quid. So let's fill this car up. Let's get on the road. So as per usual, I can't do a slightly longer journey without passing a golden arches. But no food, I'm gonna get a nice free coffee because I've built up my tokens. Six tokens for a free coffee, thank you. Wake me up a bit from the school run, blow my neck. School run is always stressful, always a rush. <laughs> uh, collection point four, so I don't have to get out of the car and get frozen again. Boom, swarm me up. Hello. Hello. Lovely, thank you. Yeah. All right, cheers. Oh yeah, I'll grab one please. <laughs> right, cheers, thanks. You never know. I'll probably spill something. <laughs> All right. Oh my god, just opening in that window, felt the breeze, Nought degrees now. That's warming up technically, minus one to zero. We've got 11 minute journey now, pick up some boxes. Cheers. Ooh. Right, I think I'm here, looking for number 40, oh, Scout Hut. Oh, where am I? Um, maybe I'm not here, maybe if we go a bit further. Why do people live in such awkward places? I need number 42. I've seen 44 and then a scout hut. It's not in a scout hut. Whoa, off road. <laughs> There's nowhere to turn around here. Sorry dog, I've interrupted your walk. Look at the sat nav. Even the sat nav says there's no roads right now. <laughs> Maybe I should turn around. Turn around on a sixpence. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> and again. Just a five point turn. Right. I will find this house. Right, so they said, as you go around the corner, First chevrons or something. What's a chevron? I don't know what a chevron is. I've heard of it. Okay, right, here we go. We're on the bend. Chevron. Is that a chevron? I don't know. I don't know what a chevron is. This one? Alright, we'll go in here. Is this it? I have no idea. Oh my god. I'm in someone's house. <laughs> if this isn't the right house, this is gonna be awkward. Uh 
pulled out. No, wrong house. Back up, back up. <laughs> okay, I need 42, that was 56. Oh my God. Where the hell am I? Why is this so difficult? There's a church. What? What is this rubbish? Okay, Chevron. This one, sold. <gasps> They've recently moved house and I've seen a sold sign. Is this it? Is this it? I have no idea. 42, yes! I found it! Oh my God. <laughs> right, I found it, but now I can't park anywhere. I found the house, but then their neighbor wants to leave and I was blocking it. So now I've got to turn around again. Oh my God, these boxes better be good. <laughs> and now it's really tight. Oh Jesus, now it's a dead end. Now I've got to turn around again on someone's drive. <laughs> oh no, this is a bloody nightmare. Christ almighty. How the hell do you turn around here? Now let's turn around. Jesus Christ. Ugh. Getting a bit flustered eh? Oh Jesus, that's such a tight. Oh, flip it in there. Right. Have to red light it. Please don't scrape the car. <laughs> this is not fun. Just cleared a car literally by millimeters, I think. Right. <laughs> you know what? I'm just gonna go here. Oh, actually, made my mind up. Actually, I'm gonna go here. I'm going here. I'm here. Hazards on. <laughs> I had to get inventive. Right. I'm gonna go to the boxes. Okay, all packed up. I filled the car. There's more than 20 boxes. I've got this thing next to me. Massive box full of void fill, shredded cardboard, paper. Like, seats are down. Yeah, this would have cost easily. I've probably got about 30 to 35 boxes now. So for 10 boxes, cost about 20, 25 quid. It's like creeping up to sort of 80 quid, especially with the moving like packing paper. So I use craft paper when I'm packaging, like padding out. So yeah, awesome result. All it cost me was 10 minutes of driving petrol and a bit of stress in finding a house. But yeah, it was well worth it. Packed up again. Obviously I'll buy big electronics and I need this co-op here because I need the post office. There we go. It's literally 10 second drive to my next destination. Uh, if I can park again. So there we go, Facebook Marketplace, people are always moving, always want to just get rid of the boxes, even though they paid money for it, they just want to get rid of it. And that's exactly what they said to me. They just want the room, they want their space back. Moving's expensive anyway, so people don't mind taking a hit on the boxes. All right, let's go in the co-op. I've got a parcel to collect. Hopefully it's something reselling related. It could just be a Christmas present for the kids that we missed, but you know, in a day in the life of a reseller video, you get the good, bad and ugly. <laughs> Let's see what we got. <laughs> Told you to see warts and all. Apparently, it's not even here. Apparently they've given me the wrong blooming address. So, I'm not really sure where it'll be. Apparently it's at like my local post office or something. Ah. Oh. Never mind. I was coming here for the boxes anyway. I thought it was this handy. It was literally down the road to where I was picking them boxes up. So, there we go. Isn't this fun? This is a great video. If you're enjoying this, hit that like button for me. Do me a favor. <laughs> I might do some more of these. We'll see. We'll see how the day goes. But so far, a bit stressful. But we've got a nice load of boxes for free. I haven't got my parcel. <laughs> 
But yeah, we're gonna go to the unit now. Uh, yeah, we'll see what's going on there. Change your plan again. I'm not going to the unit first. I'm at the Royal Mail Sorting Depot in Chelmsford. So hopefully they have my parcel. I'm expecting to get in there and they haven't got it either. Which seems to be the luck of today. But we'll see. So I've got one to collect. Yep. Lovely, thank you. thank you. Cheers, bye. Bye. Got it. Just trap the door on myself. Okay, next question is Is it reselling related or not? I don't think it is. Brace yourselves. It's not reselling related. <laughs> what is this, you ask? Oh, I'll tell you what it is. It is interlocking play mats. Hey. Christmas present for our littlest Lenny. Probably from Santa or from us. Although, no. Santa will be bringing it, won't he? Okay, this is from us then. We don't know what Santa's going to be bringing him. <laughs> there we go. All that fuss for some play mats. I was expecting something else, that's why I did want to try and get it today. But it's not my fault. We'll see. Right, now we're going to go to the unit. I'll see you in a minute. Change of plan again. I'm not at the unit yet. I'm near Asda because there's a Bernardo's, a donation centre as well, so it's a big one. Can be quite expensive, but done well here last week. And I went to gym myself, Lux. That's quite stressful. Plus, this is a reselling channel. We've got to do a bit of reselling. I believe we find something.
Wow, I am so glad I just went in at Bernardo's. Just spent 50 quid, but I got a nice pile of stuff and some really cool gear as well. My top tip is when you're not really feeling like going to a charity shop, if you know you're passing or you're going near one and you're really not feeling like it, like, now nah, I'll just give it a miss. I probably won't find anything. That's when you go. Because for some reason, whenever I feel like that, which I did today, I nearly just drove past like now, nah, I'll just go to the unit. I was like, no, I'll go. I turned off at the last second. This is what tends to happen. It's when I get the best stuff. And it just seems to be the way. So yeah, if you're not feeling like going to a charity shop and you know you're nearby or passing, make yourself go. You just never know. There's a couple of keepers in here. We'll start with one of the keepers. That's for me. I could maybe resell it for a bit of a profit. I've got this nice sort of denim jacket, that zip up jacket, eight pound a page. It's made by Zara. So not like massively high end or anything. Men's medium, I like it, nice and clean, I'm keeping it. There we go, eight pound for a brand new jacket. Well, not brand new, but new for me. Polo Ralph Lauren, uh, long sleeve polo top in like a mushroom gray, which is really cool. Again, size medium, men's, and I paid six pound. Could probably get like 18, 20 quid out of this on eBay or on Depop or Vinted using zip sale. But yeah, I might keep this, I like this color. I've got like a burgundy and I've got a black or a navy. I haven't got a lighter grey. Black jeans, black chinos, yeah. I might keep that one. Adidas joggers, sort of newer ones. Obviously three stripes down the side in black. Size UK large, so probably 34 to 36 inch waist for men's. Four pound I paid. And this should be hopefully 20 quid, no problems. And then we got these. This was a great find. This is weird fish. Uh, these were all four pound each and I've got one two three I've got five here all weird fish they're all t-shirts all the same size I think extra large and like on the front we've got like a little um crest on the breast this is a black salmon so instead of black sabbath and then on the back it's like a bigger design there you go so that's cool again all four pounds let's say conservatively even if it's 20 pound each from four pounds and I've got five that's a hundred quid there Salmon and Grafuncle, squid over troubled water. Yeah, and then a bigger design on the back, so that's really cool. Again, four pound, extra large. It's a really good sizing. This one, weird fish, hair of the cod. And again, the same design, bigger on the back, hair of the cod. All in good condition, nice. They smell nice and clean, like they've been washed before they were donated, which is a bonus. This one, cod gear instead of top gear, like Jeremy, James May, Hamster and um, Stig. That's a really cool one. Again, four pound extra large. This one is never mind the Pollux. Here you go. I like that one. Awesome. Again, four pound, 25, 30, maybe push it a bit more. Obviously, depending on the design. Like if this never mind the Pollux one's quite rare, could ask a bit more, 35, 40, never know. So from four pounds, that was an amazing find. And it took a chance on this. This is a Game of Thrones Puzzle of the King's Landing. I haven't actually watched Game of Thrones, but took a chance at four pounds. A bit of a fail. Brand new, you can get it for like $14.99, so I might get like a tenner out of that. Probably send that to Amazon, along with this one. This is a nice one. Lord of the Rings board game by Hasbro. I paid eight pounds for this one. I've sold this for over 30 pounds before. I'm coming up to Christmas. And that's on eBay as well, Amazon. I could scan it into Amazon right now. Whenever I get this app out, I always get loads of comments like, how do you do that? How do you do that? It's basically the Amazon seller app. Open it up. And then when it's opened, top right, there's a camera. It'll open up with the camera and then you can just simply scan the barcode. So I'll do that here. And it should bring up some results. So you go, it's brought up the results, Lord of the Rings game, used from $24.99. So price has come down a little bit. Used, good condition, $24.99. Or well, the next one's 39.99 on Prime. So hopefully that other one sells. So I could send this up, yeah, around 30, 35 quid. But they seem to be going for about that on eBay as well. So I might just stick it on eBay instead of waiting to send it to Amazon. And Amazon fees are extortionate. So from, again, not amazing, eight pounds. Still profit to be made. But overall, really happy I went. Now we're off to the unit. I finally made it here. Um, should do a little update. I've obviously, put away the cardboard that's everything i picked up and it's quite a nice selection we've got these other massive 18 by 18 boxes and then there was these sort of medium boxes which i really needed 
is 18 12 12 which is really good for like all these sort of players and that so that was awesome and they fit nicely up there my cardboard pile which was over here is now clear i managed to have a sort out last week so i've got my photo area permanently set up now don't have to keep taking it down putting it up again uh, and the past week or so i've been selling my big stuff which is handy because i've got my storage workshop delivered last week um i will be back at home uh, at lunchtime so i can show you back at home what that's looking like so hopefully before christmas i'll be out of here so yeah lots of things to come really busy i still got to film a charity shop haul that i done the other day which may or may not be out yet when you're seeing this not sure what one i'll do first so i've got to do that got a couple of orders to pick which we'll do right now actually and it's not just on ebay either i've got a pair of dr martins that sold on depop for 40 pounds uh, i included postage in this deal uh, this i think they owe me like 12 pounds gone for 40 so not bad brand new without box dr martins i'll put it on the screen here 40 quid brand new without box like a chocolate brown leather just never used only about 12 gone for 40 sold on depop so ebay not getting all my sales i'm not relying on ebay which is the main thing i wanted to do this year uh, and it's working really well also sold this on depop on the weekend 100 pound on depop moncler coat this owes me 40 pounds i paid up a bit this was from a vintage wholesale type place that has now closed down which is really annoying i was getting some really good stuff from there uh, so yeah from 40 to 100 uh, plus the depop fee of 10 percent i've uh, made 50 quid that's cool that's already packed up and then moving on to etsy <laughs> we got this olympia typewriter sold for 89.99 it was on ebay i reduced and reduced it was down on ebay for 49.99 so i've made like nearly well yeah 40 quid more on etsy for this sale amazing this is exactly why yeah again i keep banging on about it but spread your basket spread your basket spread your eggs in more basket don't just rely on ebay that is old news if you're doing it that way yeah times have moved on other marketplaces are catching up it's not just like a few years ago there's a marketplace but yeah it's sort of not doing much now other competitors are being serious now and this hopefully proves it these free sales here yeah try it in fact saying that also made a sale on facebook marketplace again i'll whack it here 25 pounds all in I think it was £20 plus £5 they wanted first class delivery for these vintage curtains, brand new. Only, I think it was like £2 from the boot sale. But again, yeah, another marketplace that's got me a sale. They've been sat on eBay. I've got two of them. Still got one left. I can show you. This is the one that hasn't sold. Yeah, they're just brand new from Tesco, like in the 80s, I think. Look at that old logo. Yeah, they've been sat on eBay for ages. But Facebook got the first sale. Hopefully the next one will come along quite soon. So there you go, three different marketplaces. Plus then obviously I've got an eBay sale. Just the one, I, I was here on the weekend, so I've packed up most of my weekend orders. But there is one on eBay. Uh, some trainers. Again, probably a giftable item because these are brand new without box. Uh, these have sold once already and they got returned because they didn't fit. I have Adidas Pure Boost XTR Pale Pink Running Gym Trainers Women's. There you go, using all the keywords there. Uh, sold for £35.99. They owe me 10 from a boot sale. Hopefully they stay sold this time. I've got to get home for 12 because Lenny's got his sensory class. He's got like a baby class that Amy likes to take him to. Uh, so yeah, I've got to make sure I'm back at 12. So I've got to leave in about five minutes time. Right, so I've just quickly filmed the haul video ready for the charity shop type video. So that's all done now. Now I'm going to try and leave here and get back home on time. So let's quickly shut up shop. I'll leave that there for now. I'll leave that there for now. I'll sort it out tomorrow. It's fine. All right, turn it off. Uh, phone, wallet, keys. Cool. Turn the electrics off. Yeah, shut it up. Right, I'm home now in the kitchen. Let's go show you my storage situation. Doggies! Let's say hi to the dogs first. Hey doggies! Hey bud! Hey bud! You're on the vlog! You're on the vlog! You gobby bugger! Eh? You gobby on you! Sit! 
C'est... Oui. Pour. Assez. Ready. Oh. Ignore the island. <laughs> so, here we go. This is a storage situation. This is the new home of Retro Reselling Headquarters. And it's currently slabs that are uneven, so I've got some more sand. So I need to make them all flat. And then here is the storage or workshop, which is currently under ice. <laughs> and then, this is how cold it is. Got some ice. Wow, it is cold. Here's some more. Freezing. Here we go. 15 foot by 10 foot metal workshop. It's here in two boxes. I oh know four boxes, two long ones. God, freezing. All right, bud. And this whole space here is basically the size of it. Sort of a few centimeters each way. I think 10 centimeters, two or three inches each way. So obviously it's not like tight. Let's say three or four weeks time. It's going to be where the business is uh, located, which is cool. Obviously, it's not just building it and then that's it. Obviously, with electronics and clothing, during the winter, during the summer, it'll get freezing cold, condensation. In the summer, it'll just bake. So I've got foam insulation. So once it's built, I've got to do the insulation for the floor, which I haven't bought yet. I've already bought the foam insulation for the walls and the ceiling. Uh, so yeah, it's not just building it and then that's it and then transfer. That's just like the easy bit. And then I've got to do proper insulation and figure out what I'm going to do with lighting. Electronics, I'll just run something like extension lead from the kitchen, like weatherproof one, run it down. Um, and then we'll see heating as well or a dehumidifier. Still working it out, but yeah, that is the plan. My commute will be from going from here to the storage unit now, which takes like five, 10 minutes, but it's a bit of a pain if I need to go there, but obviously it's dry and safe, but expensive. Now I can just get my cup of tea and then just head down the path to the storage unit. Exciting times, looking forward to it. Just not looking forward to doing the DIY bit of it because I am allergic to DIY. I'm not very good, but um, I try my best. Right, that's probably it now. Um, I'll probably help do some tidying in the house and that because Amy's had two children today. Um, I'll probably see you at lunchtime. It's a different lunch today. Like I said, um, I'll show you the app and stuff that I've used and then a bit of a haul as well. So an interesting lunch coming up. Lock the back door. Amy and Maisie and Lenny are back from their baby sensory. Uh, now we're going to run some errands. Got my snack before we pick up our special lunch. Got to pick up an order, online order. And pick up our lunch. I'll explain more when we get there. Hello. Hello. He's asleep. Snack. Do you want to pass the other one to mum? And the other thing we got to do is drop these off. Drop parcels off. That would help, wouldn't it? <laughs> oh yeah. You join us here in the back seat. Amy and Maisie are in Decathlon picking up something. Me and Len are chilling out in the car. But you're due milk, aren't you? Did you enjoy your school? Yeah. Apparently you had a great time. And you got a free balloon. Bargain. <laughs> we're now off to get some lunch. A special lunch. So while we're driving there, I might as well explain. Shout out to reseller Daz on Instagram. Done a post promoting this. It's an app called Too Good To Go, just here. It's basically shops that sell foods instead of chucking their food away in the bin. You can buy it dirt cheap. Uh, so instead of it being chucked away, you're saving it and then you can eat it. Saving the planet. Saving the planet, less food waste. We've got a Morrison's one, the first one we've done to test it out. We've got a bag full of food. I think we used 90% of it and it costs like three pounds, three P or something. But apparently, if you can get a Greg's one, it's really good. I managed to bag the last Greg's one yesterday. It's about two pound 90 or three pound 20 in between that price. I'm gonna get a bag full of Greg's. So that's where we're going now because it's between half two and three, we can pick it up 
and it's 25 past two now. So it's a late lunch, but it should be a good one. Saving it from landfill and we get some yummies. We are here. There is Greg's. There's two charity shops as well. Ben's having his lunch graphic. <laughs> So all we've got to do now is go to the app, Too Good To Go, I believe it's called. Here you go, your order is here. Collection ends in 18 minutes. Uh, you just click on your order. Oh, there you go, I paid £2.59. Collection code. Let's pick up and see what we got for £2.59. A bag full of cakes, maybe. So a different type of haul. We have, what was it, £2.59. Saving it from food landfill. Mixed seedless grapes. You can have them. Oh, oh, oh. four filled donuts. <laughs> That's one of our favourites. The caramel custard donut. It's four of them. <laughs> Another four donuts. Looks like lunch is donuts. And a baguette of what is it? What is this? Tuna crunch baguette. Oh. Amy won't like that. <laughs> I didn't get as much as I thought. But for £2.59, what would this be normally? About eight quid, maybe? Yeah, not bad, but £2.59. Just what's left over. You can't yeah. expect a full lunch. I was expecting a full lunch. I was expecting <laughs> a donut. I'm happy. <laughs> <laughs> well, me and Maisie can share this then. And I'll have a donut. Maisie, Amy, have a donut. Hey, Len. Person next to us just got two magic bags or whatever they're called two you've had your lunch haven't you i've had my lunch now macy's had her lunch and mum's gonna mum didn't want a tuna sandwich so she's gonna get a new one <coughs> all happy now and then we're gonna go in the charity shop and we're gonna charity shop yeah Let's go charity shopping. Whoop, whoop. One out of two, I've got three items. One's a keeper. Don't tell Amy. <laughs> Two out of two. Got three more bits. Ralph Lauren, vintage football shirt, and a weird fish. Nothing blow out the water, but bill payers. And it's freezing again. You're a weird fish. No, you are. You are. Raw mail can drop off a parcel for us now before we get Layla.
one eternity later. Screw that. I think I moved one place in 15 minutes and people are sending 20 plus small letters one at a time. I'll just drop it off at the depot tomorrow. Sausage dog. Layla's home. Say hi. Hi. What's the rock for? I'm doing a day in the life of a reseller. It's been really interesting. Right. Sorry. That is the end of the video. Like I said, nothing really reseller related will happen. I'll have to edit a video or two, or this one. If you did enjoy it and want sort of more of these, they seem quite boring to film, like I'm not doing much and just talking to you. But if you enjoy it, find it interesting, let me know down below. Smash that like button, subscribe if not already. Now Lenny's kicking off, it's all kicking off now. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.